Welcome to the latest episode of Cut to the Chase and Davis. Today, I am excited. I'm excited. We're talking digital marketing and that's something that you don't know much about when you pay someone. And uh, I try to know much about it as I can, but I pay someone as well. But hey, how do we apply social media, but not social media as such, some tips how to make digital marketing and post online to work better for you. Great. Well, yes, I pay someone a lot of money, but man, is it worth, worth it? Search engine optimization, we've heard it before. One of the biggest things that I did with my people was I used to post on YouTube and I used to post on Facebook and Instagram. What they did is they posted all that, all those blogs and all that material on my website and then pointed towards all those social media channels. So when someone had on the click, then it come direct to my website and my traffic, Aaron Davis, uh, .co.nz has gone up like 380% yeah. on that one thing. Let's not promote all those social media channels. Post the information on our own websites and then direct them there has made a massive difference for me. And Google reviews. Google reviews. But In, before, oh. before we get to the reviews, <laughs> the, and we talked about the pixel before, once people come to your website, you'll have this thing called a pixel. And what the pixel does, and make those people follow you around on different uh, platforms such as Google and the Hero, then Trade Me, then you can see the ads on repeat. So it's basically they become a stalker without even them realizing that they're stalking you. Reviews, let's talk reviews because man, they are important and man, there is many ways to skin a cat in this way in the sense that there is so many different types of reviews that you can get, but it's what you do with them which makes the difference or doesn't if you do it wrong. Oh, look, and you just got to ask for them and you've got to be dogged about, I, you know, I need a review. Like at present, I've got 380 something reviews. There's a few one stars in there, yeah, but yeah. most of them are five stars. It doesn't matter. It's credibility for me. When people go on looking for auctioneer, they see Aaron Davis, he's got 300 and something reviews. And there's some big auction houses in Auckland that have only got 10 or 12 reviews. Mm -hmm. So people just assume I'm better by default just because of the volume of the reviews that I had. So that's been another real winning so, And do you ask the reviews on, on Google, on, on Facebook? Yeah, anyway, anyway. But quite often when I want information and people want information from me all the time around scripts, dialogues, reporting letters, I say, no problem, there's no charge, but all you have to do is send me a review and then I'll forward the information to you. So that's made a real big difference. And I get a lot of strangers now ring me up, I've got no idea who they are going off and you'll be our auctioneer. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. what it's about, right? It it's is. Easy business. And do you ask for a review for every single auction that you do, regardless? No. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I don't have time. No. But it's, it's more, what I learned is I had to create a base of credibility. Now that I have it, I actually don't ask for them anymore just because I've got so many. Yeah. Now, yeah. other auctioneers, I'm sure they'll catch up at some point in time and they'll have to get more. But you know, there's a lot of moving parts going on in that world, but man, that Google search optimization, and I've been to my social media people and said, right, um, Auckland auctioneer, auctioneer in New Zealand, New Zealand's top auctioneer, those key search words, that's costing me about 300 a month. Yep. But if people type in those words, I'm coming up So first. that's Google Ads, so you yep. paid for that. And obviously SEO is where you optimize your website to come organically. And that takes time because you can, you can pay for a click, but to actually come organically, that's when you've got to pay an expert and, and you know, use those words in the text and all of that. Um, but you know, it just like all things, good things take time and oh, yeah. uh, to be the best, it doesn't come overnight, right? And I'll say you've got to play the long game. Yeah, well you've been there for like what, 40 years? <laughs> Davis. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. Look forward to see you again. Stay safe and keep on cutting to the chase.